You also, on the flip side, posed the question, if Joe Biden is unable to run, who would be your second choice? What did you find there? So 24 uh, percent of Democrats would go for uh, Vice President Harris. 14% uh, say that they actually are unsure. They don't know who they would vote for. So that's the uh, second highest answer. And then 11% each of those voters, uh, of Democratic voters, uh, gravitate either with Bernie Sanders or with Hillary Clinton. So um, again, none of these second choices are really slam dunk on both the Republican side or on the Democratic side. We have asked in other polls, do voters, both GOP voters and Democratic voters, would they prefer a contested uh, uh, nomination uh, uh, if the flag bearer, Trump or Biden, are unable to run or not? And they would actually prefer a contested nomination um, in and around uh, the conventions. Uh, so, you know, aside from the two leading candidates, no one really has a clear grasp on either of the parties or on their basis. What's really interesting is that most Democrats' second choice would be Kamala Harris, the vice president, who throughout the past months, perhaps year even, has seen a lower approval rating than President Biden. So why are they gravitating towards her? Well, I think that uh, it's a lot of Biden's voters that gravitate uh, towards her. Now, the conversion there is not very good. I mean, if you ask, um, uh, or when we were asking, when it was still a competitive primary, what percentage of Democrats would pick President Biden versus an alternative, it was roughly around 70% of Democrats that would pick President Biden. And so uh, she's converting uh, a little over a third of Biden's base into her base. That's not, that. those are not great numbers, right? And that shows that um, uh, the fact that the vice president has had actually a lower job approval rating and has lower favorability with both Democratic voters and voters overall uh, than the president does himself.